Tom, can I, I, I know we're going to run out of time here, but will the day of Noah, you know, how does this tie in? You know, because you, you're a firm believer as it was in the day of Noah. Of course, that's what the Bible says. But you, you talk about that. And I keep thinking there's something about the day of Noah I'm not, I, I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, I'm sure. And then it says it was Lot too, wasn't it? Well, it, it, all of the ancient literature, whether it's Ugaritic, whether it's the Old Testament, they all basically tell the same story. Book of Enoch. In fact, the, the writers of the Scripture are quoting from the Book of Enoch, actually. The story they tell is that these very powerful angels came down in the days of Jared, and what did they do? Well, there's two things. One, Peter and Jude, both quoting from Enoch, tell us they wanted to leave their plane of existence, their fixed habitation in heaven. And somehow they saw merging human genetic material with animal genetic material and their angelic essence as the methodology for accomplishing that task. Because what they did was they created a biological unit that was neither man nor beast, therefore had no breath of life. It didn't come from God. It didn't have a soul, but it was a living unit into which they extended themselves. That's the modern way of explaining what the Watchers did. Now, why do I say transhumanism smacks of this? Because in literally thousands of laboratories around the world today, we are creating human-animal chimeras. And what ought to be an especially insulting fact to most Americans and Christians is that many of these chimeras are being made out of the dead embryos of babies. Yes. Mm. And they're extracting liver material and other materials from these babies and blending it, creating mice that are part human, part mm -hmm. uh, dead baby tissue, right? And then they're experimenting on them in laboratories. Now, Britain published a large report a year ago in which they said, and this was their, their highest academic department, that kind of like the FDA is here, and I forget what it's called over there, but they said they believe that there are thousands of these human-animal chimeras that are being raised to full maturity, and some of them, they said, might be as much as 80% human and 20% animal in some you know, awful laboratory somewhere mm -hmm. that are being experimented on. Well, that's exactly that's what, scary. Ha that's what happened in the days of Noah. Mm -hmm. All flesh became corrupted, dating back to this intrusion into creation by the fallen watchers. So it very much seems to me that we are repeating exactly the same sciences today, which would be a fulfillment of end times prophecy. We're already proving. Professor Ivan, uh, Ivan Balaban at the McGill University in Montreal, Canada, did an experiment in which he took the developing brains of embryonic chickens, right, and merged it with the developing brains of an embryonic quail. And what gave birth were chickens that had the head bobs of quail, right, and behaved like quail, but they were chickens. Well, so what? What did the experiment prove? It proved that very, very complex behavior traits can be migrated across species barriers to create something that God did not make that behaves in a very particular way. Now, the armies of Antichrist move without passion to destroy, to hoard, to, to line up the masses of the world and to put them to death if they will not worship the Antichrist. Uh, how could there be such inhumanity? Because these may not be entirely human. Yes. They might be something entirely different. And, and, and again, it's not me saying this. The Pentagon has said this. The U.S. Department of Defense has said that both Russia and China are developing what they're calling them weaponized animals that they compared to the last Jurassic Park movie, right? What do they know that we don't know, but the spokesman for the Pentagon says this scares the bleep out of us, right? But he said we have to be able to compete, so we're yeah. doing it yeah. too. Wow, this has been a... <laughs> Awesome Christmas show. <laughs> we have had the heaviest hey. December. No. no, listen, listen. The message of Christmas is in all of these shows because 
All we're saying is the world may be going to hell in a handbasket, but you said a moment ago that this word, right? right. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will stand Ooh. forever. Yes. Yes. And how did Jesus overcome Satan? How did Jesus overcome Satan? By the he blood of the, the scripture, right? Yeah. That was his power. That's yes. the sword of the Spirit. Always. So we're Amen. on the winning side. Yes. Amen.